It's time to find a deserving animal right here in West Alabama, a forever home in Pet of the Week. Tina Miller is here from the Humane Society of West Alabama with our featured animal, who is a very energetic <laughs> little beast. Definitely. Hey, Danny, this is Fletcher. Isn't he so cute? He is cute. He's adorable. He's about a year old, and he is a cockapoo, Aww. which we know is part cocker, part poodle. I think his head probably resembles mostly a cocker. Absolutely. And then he's got the great hair, nice thick black hair of a poodle. And that is, uh, if, if you don't mind me saying, mm -hmm. just being a layman, but mm -hmm. uh, it's unusual for a cocker to be solid coloring it. Definitely. So I guess he gets his coloring from the poodle side? He does. Or? I believe he does. And he is just as energetic and as fun loving. <laughs> and if you could see his tail back here, just the wagon. Just why that's he so is funny. having a good time. And um, you know, Danny, the, the the thing about Sweet Fletcher is that he actually belonged to a family just a couple of months ago. And because of the tornado, um, his family was not able to keep him uh, in a rental home because they had lost their home in the tornado. So um, they wanted to give him to a to a place that would find him a good, loving home. So the good thing about him is that he is fully vetted. He is now neutered. He's gotten a clean bill of health. And uh, he's actually been raised with a young boy. So he's used to children and, and family. So he is oh so ready to go home with someone. And besides adopting a, a pet, you guys also need foster homes mm -hmm. right now. It, it's been yes. tough on mm -hmm. you guys and Metro with yes. the storm. Tell, tell us how folks at, uh, the folks at home can help out. Well, that's, that would be a great thing to talk about because right now we presently have about 75 dogs and cats in each of our two houses. And, you know, we are a no kill all the way, you know, um, all volunteer, nonprofit agency. And we try to get our dogs and cats from the agencies that do um, operate with euthanasia. So we definitely want to um, move a lot of our dogs and cats out so we can save more. So fostering is a great way to help out. Um, you know, it's, it's not a long-term commitment, but um, you agree to keep them for a period of time and show them when, when people call with interest. And of course, you know, adopting is the number one thing we would love to have our folks do. But um, fostering is certainly a second alternative and, of course, a third alternative is money, money, money. You know, we really could use some money either um, monthly or a one-time donation because, like I said, we, we don't use any of the donations given by generous people for any kind of salary. It goes straight to the animals all the way. So um, you can do that on our website uh, through PayPal or bring it um, to our uh, flea market in Northport or even mail it to the cat house at uh, 1515 Veterans Memorial Parkway in Tuscaloosa. And we will definitely put that money 100% to the dogs and the cats that we have in our care. All right, super. Tina, thank you so much for bringing Fletcher to come and see us today. He is <laughs> sweet, for sweet, sweet, us. sweet. <laughs> our pleasure. Lots of furry beasts like Fletcher looking for a good home. For information, you can call the Humane Society of West Alabama at 205-554-0011, or you can find them online at humanesocietyofwa.org.